Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and today I'm going to do a video about the move Spotlight and I'll just show you a few situations where it can be useful because on the surface it can seem like a bit of a useless move and to be fair it is very situational but I want to show you the situations where it is actually useful to have and where it can add some value to your team and all of those situations are definitely doubles battles because it's all about targeting your opponent. Now if you want to hit a specific opponent with a move in a doubles battle there are a number of th things that your opponent can do to try and prevent that sequence of events from happening. So I'm going to use Shinotic here, which is one of the um, few Pokemon that get the move spotlight to show you how it works. So in this scenario, we've got a Swoobat here, not the most powerful Pokemon, but I want to hit the opposing Nihilego with a super effective psychic attack. But when you look at the opponent, you see that they've got their Clefairy out, and Clefairy is well known for going for follow me. So we want to prevent that from happening and redirecting my Psychic onto the Clefairy instead of the Nihilego. What I can try to do is go for Spotlight on the Nihilego. So on the other side of the screen, all I'm just going to do is go for... Um, a power gem and a follow me just so that you can see how the follow me works. So spotlight actually goes before Follow me. It's got plus three priority compared to follow me's plus two So what we'll see here is maybe follow me counteracts the spotlight Because of it because it comes after the spotlight, but it doesn't you can see the follow me had no effect because spotlight ensured that my swoobat could hit the opposing Nihilego. So that is one experiment. There are two more situations that I'm going to show you, so bear with me. Okay, so the next situation that I want to show you is kind of similar but kind of not, and that is going up against Ally Switch, which is not as common to come up against. It's a really cool move to see though, and you can counteract Ally Switch with Spotlight. So again, if I want to Psychic the Nihilego, you can see it's in that first spot there. If I select that sp first spot and I Spotlight on Nihilego, anticipating a an Ally Switch from the opposing uh, Behem, then we can see what happens. So. We want to hit that Nihilego for the super effective damage. We're going to spotlight the Nihilego, and I'm targeting in that slot, in the Nihilego swap slot, but you can see the ally switch is going off here, and they've swapped slots. However, my Swoobat still knows to target the Nihilego because of the spotlight move. So in that situation, again, Spotlight helps your Pokemon target the one that you need to target. So again, against, against Follow Me and Ally Switch, it works in those situations to help you. Okay, so in this final scenario, this is actually probably the most common scenario that you would come up against where this might be useful. And that is against a Lightning Rod user with a Water type Pokemon. Um, you see this quite a lot with maybe counterparts to the ones I, Pokemon that I'm using, but Gyarados really hates those Electric type moves. And in doubles, you can pair it up with a Lightning Rod Pokemon, which can absorb any Electric type moves and leave Gyarados high and dry and feeling pretty good about itself. But what we've got here is the Charge Beam, which I want to hit Magikarp with because it's weak to it. And I want to make sure that I can spotlight over onto that Magikarp and hopefully the abilities won't mean anything that it won't prevent what's going to happen. So let's see how this all pans out. Does the spotlight mean that the Swoobat can then ignore Pikachu's ability? So we're going to go for the Charge Beam and it does. It goes straight into that Magikarp. The ability on Pikachu does not activate. So that is pretty great. So those are three situations where Spotlight can be helpful and it really can mess with opponent's strategies if they are really relying on that lightning rod to keep their water type safe or if they're really relying on the follow me with a Clefairy to help their other Pokemon, say Volcarona or something like that, set up. So it can be useful. The issue is there are very few Pokemon that get the Spotlight move. So that's one thing that means it's not as useful, and it is very situational. You have to be in one of the situations where the opponent has, say, a Clefairy or a Lightning World Pokemon or something like that, which isn't that though they do they are used. They aren't the most common strategies out there. So I would say that Spotlight is still 
quite a, it's not even an anti-meta gimmick because a lot of these like follow me isn't necessarily a meta move it's used quite a lot but it doesn't define any of the metas at the moment but i thought it would just be interesting to show you how spotlight is used it is a useful move it's just not super useful all the time so i hope you enjoyed this one i hope it was i hope you learned something i don't know if everyone knows how spotlight works and how it can be useful but yeah if you learned something i'm very happy about that that's going to be all for today i've been Fufu, you've been awesome and hopefully see you next time goodbye